Hey guys, I'm at SFO on my way to Hong Kong. I'm going to Hong Kong for about five days because my apartment in San Francisco is still not where the Bay Area is still not ready yet. So I'm going to go for five days and film a bunch of stuff over there, a bunch of food places I wanted to go to. It's nine o'clock right now. My flight doesn't leave till 1 a.m. So I literally have four hours of I don't even know what to do at the airport. I don't know if I can check in yet. Hopefully I can check in and then I'll just be able to sit somewhere for about four hours. And since the last video I did where I flew first class in a Korea Airlines, a lot of people were like, fly first class again. Well, you need money for that. So if any airline wants to sponsor me to fly first class and uh, I'll, I'll gladly do a review about it and show you guys. But other than that, I can't be flying first class all the time. So I'll be flying economy to Hong Kong and uh, not so exciting. All right, I'm gonna go and see if they'll let me check in four hours early. All right, something really incredible just happened. It never happened before in my life. I always complain about this because my friends will tell me, they're like, yeah, I got a free upgrade to business class. I got a free upgrade to first class. But today when I was checking into Cathay Pacific, I got a free upgrade to business class. That is so awesome because this is a long flight. I think it's a 13, 14 hour flight. And this is so awesome. One, because it's gonna be really comfortable. And two, I get to film the whole thing and show you guys what business class Cathay Pacific is like because I heard it's awesome. I heard this airline, the business class here is insane. The only downside is because I got a complimentary uh, free upgrade to business class, uh, somehow I don't get access to the business class lounge, so I can't show you guys that. Okay, I thought I would just pay my way in because I already got a free upgrade and I could show you guys what their business class lounge looks like, but they won't let me. We can't work it that way, so I'm gonna go and uh, wait with the common folks. All right, here's what just happened. Um, I tried to go back to that lounge one more time to kind of explain to them that I'm doing a video. Um, I'm really thankful they, they upgraded me to business class. I would just really love to film the lounge so everyone could get a full experience of what it's like to fly business class with Cathay Pacific, but they told me the manager wasn't there and they couldn't just let me in and film whatever. So that's it guys, I tried. I really wanted to show you what it's like in there, but uh, maybe next time when I can afford it. Thank you. Good night. You too, have a good night. Hello, thank you. This is the first class, I assume. Wow, get a nice suite. Nice. And this is the business class section. Hey, that's me. Home sweet home for the next 13, 14 hours. Ew, that's definitely not mine. That's my little pot here. Little pillow, um, little compartment for my headphones. A reading light, I assume. Yep. Seat adjust, plug. All right, it says pull, let's see what happens. But actually, hold on, oh. Cool. It doesn't come out, so I don't know exactly what this does. There's a blanket here, TV screen, and this is the release button. Here's the tray that I can't. Uh, oh, there it is. Little pod for magazines. Um, ooh, lifting armrest. This is like the only good thing about being short. I fit almost anywhere. Hmm. I wonder. How come I don't have any flowers? And holy cow, this is actually real. These are real flowers. I mean, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but whatever, they last the whole flight. I swear I threw this hair away like 20 times. It just keeps coming back. Like the curse of the random hair. And the seatbelt in business class is different too. Look at this sucker. This is like, am I a gorilla? Check this out guys, just in case you wanna look at yourself during the flight. Ooh, there you go. Oh, thank you so much. A water, orange juice, champagne? Yeah. All right, thank you, orange juice would be great. Thank you so much. Nice hot towel, orange juice, 
I think I'm ready. Movies. There is nine pages. <coughs> so six per page. Inside out. Kung Fu Panda 3. Cool. All right, pretty good movies. I think I'll be fairly entertained during this flight. Chinese cinema. What we got here? Oh, Ip Man 3, awesome. Oh, The Monkey King 2. I heard this is good. Mermaid, I heard it's really good. Go away, Mr. Tumor. Yeah, nobody wants a tumor. Mojin, Lost Legend. I don't know who he is. Mr. Six. Um, she remembers, he forgets. Sounds like a problematic relationship. Tiger. Ooh, that guy looks like he's struggling over there. Um, art House. What is this? Movies. So, I guess independent movies. Western classics. Ooh, six pages of this. Wow. The Bourne Ultimatum is a classic. How old am I? Oh, this is actually really good. Olympus Has Fallen. That's a really good movie. Let's see what we got. This means war. I love this movie. One of my favorite movies. Really, f oh, my favorite movie of all time. Am I gonna gonna have to watch this? Gladiator, great movie. Oh, these are really nice movies. Inception. I don't want to be confused, so I'm not gonna watch that. Let's see what else we got here. Chinese classics. Oh, see, Ip Man One. That's a classic. Three, pretty new. One and two, classic. Eat, drink, man, woman. That sounds like my entire life. Uh, love in the buff. I mean, I love eating watermelon that way, you know? Just taking half a watermelon, it's just not messy, you know, it doesn't spill anywhere. This is actually a really, really funny movie, The Royal Tramp, um, Stephen Chow. Let's start with a classic, shall we? Forrest Gump. Let the emotional roller coaster begin. Let's see what we got here. Wow, look how thick this is. Supper. Savory dips and breadsticks. Nice, with a choice of Prawn, sweet wine sauce, stir fried brock choy, grilled USDA prime beef tender. Ooh, that sounds good. I mean, they all they both sound good. Actually, can I get both? Fresh note of fresh berries, cheese plate for a light meal, cream of mushroom soup. I'm definitely going for the beef tenderloin and the prawns if they'll let me. For snacks, which if you think, typically think of snacks, you think of like chips or whatever. For snacks, there's um, Neiman Ranch short rib burger with bacon, cheddar barbecue sauce, and tomato ketchup, wonton and noodle soup, and ice cream. That's my type of snack right there. Breakfast, a bunch of juice. Omelets, bacon, stir fried rice, vermicelli, dim sum, abalone clam, mushroom congee, bread basket, and for drinks, just the typical stuff. Ooh, there's milk tea, that's awesome. I don't know what it is about my fascination with uh, airplane bathrooms and business class, but here we got some hand wash, okay. Ooh, foaming cleanser, all right, body lotion, Purifying mist to okay, so I guess I strain myself with this thing. Mm, actually, smells really good. Ooh, I like that. Can I, can I just keep this? We have some wipes and uh, ooh, check this out. Wow, full length mirror and fresh flowers. And of course, the toilet paper has that whole hotel fold right here. It definitely doesn't look like the most delicious thing in the world. I mean, it's, it's a far cry from, you know, authentic New York steak, but the flavor is good. It's a nice charcoal flavor. Potatoes nice and creamy. Can't complain about the back right? Chocolate. Yes. Oh, yeah, awesome. Um, raspberry. Great. Nice little gourmet chocolates.
that's the six cents kit before he can see dead people. Looks pretty decent burger. A little pickle, melty. Look at this melty cheese, bacon. Nice looking patty. Smells really good. This is the wonton. This is the wonton noodle soup. Whoa, look at that. Look how fancy that is. Good looking wontons. Oh, nice noodles. Some guy line. Looks good. Nice flavor. You know what? Only if there's hot oil. If there's hot oil, this thing would be perfect. Okay, check it. So they do have hot sauce. I knew it. This is the good kind. Usually, I think they might have some Tabasco. That's what I was kind of expecting. But they have fine chili sauce from a brand I love, the Come Key. I got two of these babies. Try the soup now. the stuff that's what I've been looking for oh that's good hot sauce I like that because that sauce unlike Tabasco it's not sour it's just straight up fire and it kicks and that is a nice degree of heat right there that I just added to my noodles now my noodles are gonna taste amazing oh my god that is a great bowl of noodle right now. This literally feels like a bowl of noodles that I bought at some restaurant. You ever seen extreme makeover? Chili sauce or hot oil on noodles? It's like giving the noodles extreme makeover. I'm sorry for the lighting. There's really no lights around here. All I have is uh, this little guy. Good morning, it's officially breakfast time now. We've got some fresh fruits right here. Pineapple, cantaloupe, strawberry, raspberry. Herb, cream, cheese, omelet, apple, or smoked bacon, pork sausage, potato cake. And the tomato sauce. I thought this would just be like kind of blend and not a lot of flavor. Really flavorful. Everything is nice and hot temperature wise. The potato is pretty, pretty flavorful. Bacon is a little soggy, but soggy or not, still bacon, still good. Paul is actually the bomb. Just got off my flight, I looked disheveled. It's so awesome to get a free upgrade. Like I said, never got an upgrade on a flight before and on such a long flight too. And thank you so much Cathay Pacific for uh, hooking me up. And I really enjoyed the whole experience. The seats were uber comfortable. When it laid flat, it just felt like a bed. Also, I want to note that the flight attendants who were so courteous and so awesome, they also know you by name. So they will come by and be like, Mr. Chen, would you like some dinner? Which, I, I mean, I know they're memorizing it from a piece of paper, but still, it was very personable and made me feel good. It's like they actually cared but really I can't say enough good things about the flight attendants on that flight got me uh, my bowl of noodles my burger like an hour before breakfast didn't give me a weird look about eating a meal basically right before another meal so there you go guys that's what it's like to fly business class Cathay Pacific and if any airlines are watching this I would love to try out your business class or first class or even that that cabin in the sky thing, you know what I'm talking about? That like whole room in the sky thing. I would love to try that and film it and show everyone what it's like. So let me know. I'll put my email address for you guys in my description box. So contact me. And it's 6 a.m. I have no idea where to go. I can't check into my hotel yet, obviously. So maybe wander around the streets of Hong Kong, get some breakfast. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.